Hi guys, today let us study about the concept of friction. Well, what is a friction? When a body tends to move in contact over another body, then a resistance to its movement is set up. This resistance is known as friction or also frictional force. For example, consider a ball rolling on the ground. From the first law of motion, we know that the ball will remain in its state of uniform motion that is rolling until and unless an external force is acted upon the ball. Well, in reality, we see that the ball will roll for a certain distance and then will come to a stop. This is because of the frictional force acting on the ball. The frictional force will be provided by the ground and will act in the opposite direction to that of the ball's movement. Hence, this force will bring about a change in the state of motion of the ball. This force is known as friction. From this, we come to know that the force of friction will always act in the direction opposite to the motion of the body. Now, let us look into some of the types of friction. Static friction. Well, the friction which acts on a body which is at rest is called as static friction. Next, limiting friction. Well, the friction acting on a body which is just on the point or verge of sliding is known as limiting friction. This means that limiting friction is the friction which acts on the body which is about to slide or start motion from a point. Next, dynamical friction. Well, this is the friction which acts on a body which is already in motion. Dry friction. This is the friction acting on a body when the contact surfaces are dry. This means that there is no lubrication used between the contact surfaces. Due to this, there will be a tendency of relative motion between the two bodies known as the dry friction. The dry friction can be further classified into two types. Solid friction, that is the friction which acts on a body when two surfaces have the tendency to relatively slide over each other. Next, the rolling friction, which is the friction acting on a body due to rolling of one surface over the another. Next, we have fluid friction. Well, this is the friction acting on a body when the contact surfaces of the two bodies are lubricated. These are further classified into greasy or non viscous friction, that is, the friction which acts on a body when the contact surfaces are lubricated with a very thin layer of the lubricant. And next, the viscous or film friction that is the friction acting on a body when the contact surfaces are completely separated by a lubricant that is a large quantity of lubricant is used between the surfaces of the bodies. Next, angle of friction. Well, this is the angle with which the resultant reaction due to the normal reaction and frictional force will make with the normal to the surface. Hence, the angle of friction is given by tan phi is equal to f by r, where f is the frictional force and r is the normal reaction. Next, the coefficient of friction. Well, it is defined as the ratio of the limiting friction to the normal reaction. Hence, mu is given by f divided by r. The coefficient of friction is also equal to the tangent of angle of friction. Hence, this can also be written as tan phi is equal to mu is equal to f by r. Next, the angle of repose. Well, consider a body which is placed on an inclined plane. Hence, the angle at which the body is just on the point of sliding down is called as angle of repose. Then, the body will start to slide. Next, the loss of dry friction. The force of friction always acts in the direction opposite to which the body will tend to move. The magnitude of the limiting friction bears a constant ratio to the normal reaction between the two surfaces, that is, mu, the coefficient of friction, is equal to f by r. The magnitude of forces of friction is exactly equal to the force with which the body will tend to move, that is, the applied force will be equal to the frictional force when the body is at rest. The force of friction is independent of the area of contact between the two surfaces. Also, 
the force of friction will depend upon the roughness of the surface in contact thank you wow that's impressive you have completed a magic today for more videos subscribe join our facebook group and instagram page for group discussion and live magus videos for exam preparation in an hour we start at class like community for students to learn from a friend in a simple way and support them in their own languages if you are willing to be that one friend who saves us at the exam night preparation then please join us by visiting classfly.in